So I just wanted to show people how to get a good um, animating on twos workflow. So I have this animation here where this little Lego guy is waving and I wanna make it on twos. So what I do is I go in, I select all my bones because if you see, there's each little bone has its own little, uh, own little set of keyframes here, right? And I wanna keep that in case I wanna move it. I wanna make his wave slower or whatever later on. So I, I, I press A to select all of them. I come down here, I press A to select all my keyframes and I control tab into the graph editor. You can also select the graph editor if you want, which is right here. But I like to do control tab, hit A again, select all your curves and then select one of your options here. Go to modifiers. If it's not showing, you have to hit N and uh, add stepped interpolation. And now here's the trick. What you wanna do is copy it to your clipboard and then delete it. Now, come over here and press A, hover over all of these layers here, which is all of your bones and all of the transforms that are attached to them. Hit A and then paste. And now you have stepped animation for all of your bones. And it's dynamic and temporary. So if I change, if I hit control tab out of the graph editor and I select this bone and I just want, and I want this, I want this to be longer. I go to the first and I can just scale it up and it's still stepped. You know, I have full control and I didn't have to go in and like change every single keyframe. So thought that might help be helpful. Let me know if you want to learn anything else about these types of animations.